Following the deaths of Darth Vader and the Emperor and the destruction of the second Death Star, the Rebel Alliance proclaimed a new Republic over three-fourths of the galaxy. But without the thousands of Jedi Knights who formed the backbone of the old Republic, the new Confederation was a precarious one. Long years of struggle followed, during which Imperial factions consolidated control over a fourth of the galaxy. Whole systems became fortresses, bristling with firepower. Then, five years after the Battle of Endor, the infamous Grand Admiral Thrawn mounted a terrible assault, nearly bringing the fledgling Republic to its knees. Ultimately, Thrawn was defeated. But within days of his downfall, surviving members of the Emperor's ruling circle staged a stunning assault on the Emperor's throne world, a planet called Coruscant. And that vital system once again fell under Imperial control. It looked certain that a new empire was about to emerge from the ashes of the old. That very possibility triggered a ferocious civil war among the numerous Imperial factions. Who would sit in the Emperor's throne? Who had the right and the might? Meanwhile, the Rebels were quick to seize the opportunity to sow confusion among the feuding Imperials, using two captured Star Destroyers to conduct hit-and-run sorties into the war zone. One such raid over the raging Imperial City battleground ended in disaster. The Alliance Star Destroyer Liberator, commanded by Luke Skywalker and Lando Calrissian, crash-landed on the planet's surface. As our story opens, Princess Leia and her husband Han Solo have left their two children in safekeeping, and together with the Wookiee Chewbacca and the protocol droid C-3PO, are on a daring mission to rescue their fallen comrades. Han, the Nava computer just reported extreme turbulence in our re-entry coordinates over the Imperial City. Now that'll be battle debris, Leia. The whole Imperial sector's littered with it. Warn the other ships. This is the Millennium Falcon. Rebel Star, Antares 6. Do you copy? Copy that, Millennium Falcon. Antares 6 here. Rebel Star here. Over. We're coming up on some spatial distortions ahead. Our scanners show lots of orbital wreckage. Stay sharp. Those big frigates you're flying aren't as maneuverable as the Falcon. Affirmative, Millennium Falcon. We're right behind you. Chewie, get ready to cut into sublight engines. Energize repulsor lift. Prepare to exit hyperspace. <coughs> Pardon me, sir, but the odds of collision with that amount of space debris are 3,722 to 1. If I may suggest... Chewie, watch your thrusters. <coughs> and remind me to crosswire C-3PO's voice synthesizer when we get back to base. But, sir, if I may say so... 3PO, sit down. Five seconds to re-entry. Four, three, two... Starship wreckage, head ahead, thrusters, full right. <coughs> I see it, I see it, Chewie. Lucky I just brought the Falcon's thrusters up to maximum specs or we'd be sliced and diced like space slugs in a servo. There must be hundreds of wrecks floating around out here. The battle must have been unbelievable. Leia, the other ships are coming out of hyperspace. Those big frigates will never make it through this wreckage. Rebel Star, Antari 6, this is the Falcon. There's too much debris here. Come around to zero two. That's zero two. You'll find a gap in the wreckage. Negative, Millennium Falcon. We can make it, we can watch it. Maximum thrust, hard left, hard left. Captain Neva's frigate is hit! We gotta go back. Chewie, stand by them. It's too late. No one survived. Can't be sure. Han, I feel it. In the Force. I'm sure. Millennium Falcon, this is Antares 6. We'll scan for survivors. You belong to the others. Stand by, Antares 6. Which is great. Luke crashes a captured Star Destroyer, and we just lost a good frigate crew. I knew this trip was a bad idea. Han really ought to do is take the Falcon toward the Galactic Corps to check out those rumors of super weapons coming out of the Imperial Sector. The Alliance sent Admiral Akbar to do that, Han. Besides, those are just rumors. Luke and Lando are in real trouble. But they don't need us. If I know those guys right about now, they've got the Imperials doing the Gamorrean two-step. Han, we lost their signal. The distress beacon broke contact at zero altitude. <laughs> yeah, Chewie, you're right. You're both right. I'm sorry I shot off my big mouth. Solo to Antari 6, establish a docking orbit, prepare to take on survivors. We're going planet side. We copy, General Solo. We'll keep you on our tracking screens. Good luck finding Commander Skywalker. Yeah, wherever he is. There. It's open. Yes, R2, just as I thought. Some sort of secret passageway leading down from the palace. In all the years the rebels occupied Coruscant, I can't believe we never found this chamber. Well, probably during the Civil War. A laser blast or concussion bomb must have destroyed this whole panel. 
It's dark. So dark. No thanks, R2. But it's not that kind of darkness. There's something. Something powerful here. Something dangerous, too. R2, lock that door into position. Whatever's down here was well hidden and well shielded. That's why I told Lando not to follow us. <laughs> 